everybody, my name is Dan, I'm a veterinarian, and today, Lyme disease in the dog. I will cover how a tick will give a dog, or your dog, Lyme disease, what you will notice at home symptoms-wise if your dog has Lyme disease, how the veterinarian will go about diagnosing it, and what the game plan will be to treat a dog with Lyme disease. What a tick does when it becomes beautiful outside is they go on a quest. They go questing. They open up their arms and they stand on a long piece of grass and they grab your dog as it walks by and they jump aboard. Once aboard, the tick that we're worried about is the deer tick, also called Ixoid scapularis in the textbook. This tick is known to harbor and carry Lyme disease. Lyme disease is a bacteria, also known as Borrelia burgdorferi. I know, it's a crazy name, but that's the actual organism that causes the problem. Now a tick's gonna crawl around for a little bit and then it's gonna bite down and drink some blood. Now, the thing to remember is once the tick pushes out or regurgitates the Lyme disease, that's when the Lyme disease is spread to the doggy. It does not happen right away though. It literally takes hours for this to happen. Being very diligent and making sure that your doggy doesn't have a tick on them when you're out camping or out running is really helpful to check right away. Once your doggy gets Lyme disease, once it's spread from the tick to your doggy, that's when you start seeing symptoms. Symptoms can definitely vary quite a bit, but the thing we're looking for predominantly is lethargy, a little tired, we may have a fever because of the generalized inflammation from the bacteria. One of the most common things a lot of people talk about is the lameness or polyarthritis. So all the joints may be kind of warm and when the dog walks around, they're walking around on eggshells. They barely touch the ground and all four legs most of the time are very sore and uncomfortable. When you roll into the veterinary office and you have a history of a tick being on your dog or a history of camping and being outdoors, and if geographically you're in a place of high Lyme disease, a veterinarian seeing the symptoms and seeing the history, they're probably going to be focusing on diagnosing Lyme disease. The veterinarian may do an in-house ELISA test. It's a quick snap test to see if we have a positive antibody response to Lyme disease. As well, they may send out for a PCR testing or some other test to help actually diagnose the antigen or the bacteria, which is the Borrelia burgdorferi spirochete that's causing the Lyme disease. Once we get the diagnosis, the veterinarian will prescribe an antibiotic. The antibiotic is going to be doxycycline. Doxycycline is a great antibiotic against Lyme disease and other spirochete bacteria. Most of the time, Treatment is very long. A veterinarian may treat for three to four weeks with the doxycycline. And sometimes Lyme disease can become chronic. So based on what your veterinarian wants to do, they may or may not treat during times that are asymptomatic or no symptoms are present. But if there are symptoms and we are painful and we have arthritis or polyarthritis from the Lyme disease, veterinarians will treat to clean up any acute or active infection causing symptoms from the bacteria. How do we prevent Lyme disease? There are two major methods that most people approach when preventing Lyme disease in their doggies. A really good idea is a tick and flea preventative. There are a handful of excellent topicals and oral tick and flea preventatives to prevent the tick from either attaching and drinking blood or reducing that time period of them drinking blood. No medication is perfect, guys. Picking a topical or an oral med can be very challenging. So making sure you talk to your veterinarian and picking the right one for where you live and the prevalence of ticks and ticks with Lyme disease in your area. The Lyme vaccine is out there too, and this can help prevent Lyme disease as well. Talking to your veterinarian about the preventive care and the Lyme vaccine, either independently or in conjunction with each other, can be really helpful to helping to prevent Lyme disease. And guys, if this content has been helpful for you, please like and subscribe. I put a lot of good stuff out there regarding pet health, and I try to do my very best to always respond back to you guys when you do comment. Take care, and you all have a great week.